Hello everyone and welcome! Today I'm going to be talking about Serenity Firefly Class 063-K64 Leaves on the Wind. <clears throat> anyway, um, before I get started, I feel like just saying this like, yeah, I'm a bit of a fan of the, uh, you know, overall franchise. Not quite as, uh, uh, much as, uh, most other people, like, I don't, like, wear costumes or whatever, but I am certainly enough of a fan to feel kind of depressed when I think about how really, you know, how good the, I feel the show is, but, yeah, at the same, uh, but, you know, depressed on how much of a, what I feel to be sort of a raw deal, you know, we kind of got with this, because, like, cause, I mean... <clears throat> First, there was the TV show, which is really good, but we only got to last uh, 14 episodes or so, so, you know, we couldn't really get it much of a gauge on, like, how good or bad the show could have been, you know, because there probably could have been plenty of good and really crappy episodes, but, you know, because of how, you know, soon the show was canceled, we never really got to get gauge on that, so we're only kind of left on with the few episodes we got, and, you know, judging by how, um, good or bad, and, and we're just sort of like, uh, you know, just basically went, like, way before it probably should have, and then, of course, there's the movie, which, if assuming Wikipedia is to be believed, couldn't even, um, make back its own budget back, I think it was like 38, it was like 39 million dollars, then made back like 38.8, so, yeah. So, like, is there any way uh, that this thing can actually... Any kind of medium where it can last? And, well, there is. That was B at the uh, novels and graphic novels. I actually own uh, several of... A couple of the uh, uh, Serenity uh, RPG books. Mainly just because of the fluff and I find that it's a just an interesting world. But also with... Um, the various comic books. Uh, there's uh, Better Days, which is like a sort of standalone thing, which is very much like uh, like another episode of the series, in my opinion. There is Those Left Behind, which takes place right before the events of the movie, and you know talks where we see you know like why uh, characters that were on the ship are no longer on the ship you know, from the TV show and are no longer on the ship of the movie, and, you know, we get to the whole, uh, you know, their, uh, how they came from, like, where the, where they were, like, you know, emotionally or personality-wise from the TV show to the movie, like how, uh, the captain seems suddenly so, uh, you know, so cold to the, to the Tams for some reason, you know, and, um, and there's, uh, of course, one thing that I'm sure most brown coat fans are going to be especially interested in would be uh, Shepherd's Tale. Or is it Shepherd's Story? Oh, well, whatever. Um, point is, it's basically a, a comic that's retelling the life of Shepherd Book. The uh, old, uh, you know, um, you know, mentory type sage-like figure that would, you know, occasionally talk to Mal and, uh, give him, like, bits of words of wisdom, and it's actually really interesting, like, it's, uh, told backwards in, in the manner that it was, but I think that's actually pretty cool, you know, seeing, uh, how he gets from, like, one part of his life to the next, you know, and then going back t in time to, like, an earlier day where he goes from where he was to where he was in the previous, you know, area. And I thought that was just, uh, really interesting. Yeah. And, um, and, um, the reason why I'm talking about this is because this is the first one that I know of that, um, actually takes place after the movie, you know, not instead of before or during, you know, and we get more, you know, elaboration on the, uh, overall, well, the other ones had more that too, but this time we get more, um, <clears throat> stuff on, like, you know, of course, stuff that takes place after, especially the fallout from the Miranda message, 
And that's basically where this starts off, with uh, two talking heads debating on uh, such as like whether or not the Miranda message is real or not. And I like, to, and even though I know that, of course, the Miranda message is real, and I know that. <clears throat> You know, it's all because the alliance is real, but at the same time, I can also kind of see where the detractors are coming from. I mean, just everyone's just chilling out, and then suddenly a, a random signal, you know, just comes out of nowhere, says, "Oh, Marie, the Reapers are real," and or no, it's not. It's like a 30 million people on Miranda are just dead, and like a half a percent of them <clears throat> went crazy and started eating everyone and <clears throat> yeah and um and they're putting their doubts on that yeah because yeah like you know the genocide of 30 million people yeah i kind of find it hard to believe somebody being capable of uh you know covering that up too <clears throat> but um eventually after the debate big debate thing they have we eventually cut to the crew of the serenity proper and we see that this was that this takes place about nine or so months after the events of the movie because we see that Zoe is pregnant and you know the co-captain and that she is <clears throat> like almost she delivers her baby o over the events of the comic and um, and <clears throat> eventually because um, the now like n another group of secret operatives are now after them one of them was actually the very guy that was actually originally gleamed by river tam in the first place you know <clears throat> which i thought was rather cool touch the crew of the serenity was is again you know in danger and yeah um because like uh, some like uh, some illness or whatever that Zoe contracts, she's uh, eventually captured and separated from the crew, and the whole thing is uh, revolves around the crew as well as um, <clears throat> being met up with a group of new Resistance members. Because after the events of the mo movie, uh, new Resistance of new brown coats have come up, <clears throat> and. Um, they want to like uh, help rescue, uh, you know, Zoe, as well as they also find themselves, you know, having to find out more stuff about River Tam's little, about the program that River Tam was in. We also see a return with the bounty hunter Jubal from the TV show. <clears throat> Not very much of a return, but I thought it was still cool that she was, I mean, that he was there. Is he was a pretty interesting character, and we see the operative also make a return, and um, yeah, over and so like, <clears throat> uh, and of course, yeah, probably isn't much of a spoilers when we re reveal that. Well, they eventually do rescue Zoe, and you know, but <clears throat> yeah, there's like a quite a bit of a world building here, you know that, uh, you know, there's. Of course, the new resistance. There's more revelations on the soldier program that River was part of, including you know seeing like a whole thing with like a bunch of different uh, other super soldiers like River, and um, <clears throat> as well as we see more operatives and uh, yeah, it was just, just really interesting. Plus, I could totally see a uh, spin-off series. You know, being all about the new resistance and the uh, and them trying to like rebuild themselves back up because the <clears throat> and you know maybe even going up to like another civil another war but with the alliance. Um, <clears throat> there are, um, I guess um, there's some stuff like uh, that I'm not. Too crazy about like um <clears throat> really just one like bit of a moment with the um like near the end when um I'm gonna have to throw up a major spoiler warning here but it's when uh, the <clears throat> character Zoe you know sort of confronts the operative from the movie about the whole uh you know wash dying and so she challenged him to a duel and we don't and see them die but 
you know, it just sort of skips right afterwards. But considering the, you know, overall, uh, you know, their record when it comes to keeping, you know, villain characters alive, which is they don't. Um, I'm assuming the operative is probably dead, and personally, I kind of feel that's a bit of a misstep. I mean, for starters, I mean, like, uh, first, like, there's the whole character thing with, like, um, <clears throat> how apparently, like, e even though the operative has kind has saved their lives on, I'd say, like, three separate occasions, first being, of course, well, actually, or, you know, um, during the <clears throat> movie when he ordered the Alliance soldiers to stand down, second time during the comic here, where he tells the, <clears throat> where he's, uh, you know, helping, you know, hold off the other operative, you know, so that way the Serenity crew doesn't have to deal with both a, super, a soldier like River Tamp, but evil, or brainwashed to work for the Alliance to try to kill them, and another operative, so you know, save their lives again there, and then a third time during the prison break scene. <clears throat> Furthermore, when you take in the fact that he's obviously very remorseful over, you know, what he's done, you know, for the Alliance, and is no longer working for them, and has, uh, <clears throat> and is not actually, if you think about it, di directly responsible for Wash's death, you know, <clears throat> Because, I mean, yeah, they were, he was killed in the, you know, attempt to get the signal out and, you know, but it was Reavers that killed him and it was Mal's idea to, you know, use the Reavers as, uh, you know, sort of uh, use them as like a, a uh, you know, like the distraction or whatever for the Alliance it's while he gets the signal. So... <clears throat> Which, now that I think about it even further, kind of makes a bit of a plot hole, because, like, if they had, a, you know, just, like, let's say the operative had only had, like, his, like, a, his regular ship, which could have easily taken out the Serenity, then they would have been surrounded, and then everyone would have died, you know, but, <clears throat> back to the point is, like, um, I don't know, <clears throat> it just kind of bugs me that even, like, when you take all three of those things, and they're, and Zoe's still, like, no, I hate you, I'm gonna kill you, and yeah. <clears throat> um, what else is that? Oh, oh and, la and another, the next reason why it bothers me is because, I mean, like, you could have had, like, the operative be, like, the next Shepard book type guy, you know, where he delivers his, gives his own, like, sagely wisdom on, like, you know, the backwards, backwoods uh, channels and, you know, of his uh, expertise on the operative on the uh, alliance and secret stuff and <clears throat> yeah but um whatever that's just like one like little not even like little problem that i had um <clears throat> i also kind of feel that um it's a little heavy on the requirements for needing to know continuity you know because then you know like you don't know who this uh Jubal character is, so you don't really know why uh, he hates the Serenity crew so much, or um, plus, like, lack of, uh, you know, knowing who washes it, who washes, who, of course, dies, like, before the events of the, of this comic during the movie, you know, it's a little harder to, you know, get feel for uh, the, you know, Zoe, or how sad she is about, you know, his death, or even feel sad for Wash dying, you know, I mean, I think we do show a bit of a flashback, but, uh, yeah, still, whatever, but I feel those things are relatively minor, and overall, are still, uh, overall a fantastic read, with good action, occasional funny dialogue, and it's just a rather fun book, and like I said before, I can actually see like a continuous spin-off series revolving around the new resistance as they uh, you know you know get their plans against the alliance in motion and stuff <clears throat> and I think that would actually be really awesome you know so um, overall I give leaves on the wind my personal comfort level recommendation rating of four out of five 
recommend it. It's <clears throat> like it's 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 a, it's a decent read, and whenever you get around to it, check it out. You know, it's not like there could be better and with some stuff that I felt, but overall, it was a it was a it was a decent read. Check it out, and uh, you and I hope you like it. And next time, <clears throat> we're going to be going into the realm of the sci-fi action comedy with Stephen Colbert's Tech Jansen. Or, <clears throat> yeah. And until then, you know, keep yourselves awesome by going out, support your local bookstores, libraries, whatever, with your patronage money, donations, whatever else I can't seem to think of. And if you have your own suggestions for me and other viewers, please leave so in the comment section below, and have a nice day.